Hi guys, my name is Susie, this is I Run Things, and today we're talking about the Zombies Run app. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This video is in collaboration with Running Geek Girl. She has a video reviewing the Zombies Run app from the point of view of someone who's been using it for a while. My video review is from the point of view of someone who just started using this app. So this video has two different parts. In the first part, I actually start using the app while I show you how it works during my long run. And in the second part, I give you my opinion and I walk you through the different features that this app has to offer. Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday. I am going for my long run, I have to do an hour and a half um, and I am going to listen to the Zombies Run app and I will fill you in. It's the first time I'm using it. I was um, recommended this app by Running Geek Girl. Supposedly they're a lot of fun. So yeah, um, wow, it's hot already. I think I waited too long to get out of the house. I don't know that I have enough water. Might not be enough. Okay, let's get it done because it's only going to get hotter. Here's the up. I don't know that you guys can see it well, but that's the icon. And then it pops all these different options. And the one that I wanted to actually try and do is this one, Dinosaur Dash. So, yeah, it sounds very promising. So I think the way you do it is that's like the display of what it is about. So you can read about it, but then you go down here to missions. And I think it's here. Yeah, New Adventures, that one. And I already downloaded this one yesterday so i downloaded this one the first one into the arctic which is the first training mission so there's two training missions and then there's two races one of them is a 5k the other one is a 10k so once you download the first one you can enable tracking which is what we're going to do and do the chases just for fun and see how, how those work so let's do that yes it's enabled and then Okay, so I need to track. Turn on tracking, okay. Whoops. External music player. Yeah, okay. I can use Spotify for that. Uh, and then you start the mission. That's how, the way you do it. But if I wanted to download the second part, I would need to either join the Runner's Club, which is a paid feature, or unlock this in four days and 23 hours. So I have to wait to unlock that. Okay, so let's do this one. Start the mission. Allow, okay, um, all the time. No, just while in use. Okay. Okie doc. We are starting. <gasps> Very cool, okay. Ooh. This sounds very promising. <gasps> Okay, so far super engaging app. It stops every kilometer, it plays more of the story. And then it's like, um, I would say, haven't measured it obviously because I'm running, but it's probably like 45 seconds a minute of interaction between the characters and then something happens that triggers you to run, to keep running. So, so far, awesome. It stops every kilometer. And I don't know if there's a way to put it in miles. That would be my only, you know, I don't mind running in kilometers, but some of us may want to run in miles. So I don't know if that can be changed. I'll see later when I get home. But yeah, so far, super engaging. I am on kilometer three. So it has played three um, parts of the story quote-unquote so it's an adventure story it's really cool so that's where I stopped 
and it's 540 kilometers. The thing is it didn't stop. I've been here for a little bit and it's still haven't stopped it. So it says 42 minutes. Let's stop it. And you can actually share this on social media. You can actually share this on social media doing that. You can hide the map or show the map on your socials. So I'm actually going to share it. So yeah, this is the second one and I can't do it. it. still says join the club or unlock in four days, 22 hours, which seems a lot. So yeah, anyway, let's continue with this training run. An hour and a half, I'm drenched in sweat. I stopped the phone and the, I, stopped, I stopped everything, but I'm like drenched, like yeah. It's 80 degrees, guys, almost 30 Celsius with, I don't know, a lot of humidity. And there's like gnats and mosquitoes everywhere. God. Anyway, I'm turning back, going back home right now. I'm done, but it's so hot right now. It's bad, guys, bad. Heat, heat index must be through the roof. I feel like my skin is burning. I put a lot of lotion, but still my skin is like on fire. Oh God, anyway, I ran out of water. I have to go. I am sure I have, look at this. Ha! Yeah. Who needs the beach to get a suntan? Okay. Let me jump in the shower and I'll fill you in with everything else regarding the zombie zombies run up. So that first use of the zombies run up for me was a little bit bumpy. I should have definitely studied what the app was all about before going out on my run. There's features that you can change. You can um, change the distance from miles to kilometers, and that's very easy to do. I'll show you how to do it in a minute. And also you can tweak the distance. So as you saw during my run, I wasn't sure that I could uh, prolong that experience, that adventure for the length of my run. And yes, you can do it. And I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So who would be the target audience of this app? I think it's a great app for people who want to stay motivated, um, that are not new runners, that have been running for a while just to, to spice up their runs. It's also very valuable for people who are just starting to run because as I will show you in a minute, there are features within the app where you can train for 5K, for 10K or for a half marathon that I think have a lot of value for new runners, people who are starting to run now. Another feature of this app that I wanted to touch on is the option of adding virtual races to the app itself. So there are kind of three different options to use this app. You have the free option, which is the one that I'm using right now. You have the paid option, which gives you the opportunity to enhance all the features. And the option number three is to add on the virtual races for which you get a medal and some other information, some brochures, even some booklets with add-ons to the adventure. And now let's dive into the app itself. I'm going to show you how to find an adventure, how to train with an adventure and how to use an adventure just for leisure in one of your runs. Let's go. Okay, so this is how the app looks right here on the top right corner on the screen, Zombies Run. And this is what you see on the first uh, page, so to speak. So you have these that shows you the featured missions. You can also scroll here to the right on New Adventures and go over some of their adventures. They have a total of 12, which you can click there and see as well. 
And the one that I did was this dinosaur dash. So let's go in, see, you can see here, S1 into the Arctic. That's the one that I was listening to today. So there, there were seven clips in the story. And I could even do this mission again by clicking on start mission. Now you can track it via your GPS on your phone. You can have chases on or off, which I will explain in a minute what those mean. And then you can also have music either with a building player that you have in your phone with your own music or connecting it to Spotify or Google Play Music, which I was actually listening to Spotify. And this feature is really good because as you go in between every story clip, the music plays and it plays where you left it. So it's not skipping songs or music. It's just continuing to play where you left it before it was interrupted by one of these clips. Now, what happened during my run is that I wanted to go to S to the episode two, clip number two, and I can't do that because I have to unlock the mission. Now to unlock that mission, either use, you wait the amount of time that the app tells you to wait or which typically is four days or you pay for the pay feature, which is at the bottom, I think, which is here, achieve more, join the Abel, Abel Runners Club. So as you can see, you can pay monthly. $5.99 or you can pay an annual fee of $34.99. Here it tells you a little bit more about other apps they have. You can even subscribe to three different apps they have, which are Zombies Run, Zombies Run 5K, Training, and The Walk. Now let's go to the training they can even, you can even buy their novels. Now you can go to the missions right here at the bottom of your screen, missions. And you have, again, the new adventures, all 12. This is the same menu we just clicked on. Or you can click in one of these story missions, they call them, where you level up to get um, items for your adventures. And then these app will save them, will save whatever you store, whatever items you gather during your adventures and we'll sort it in your app under your login and your password but if we click on training plans you can see there's different ones here 5k expert for some reason i don't have 5k beginner uh, but then i have 10k beginner 10k intermediate half marathon beginner and marathon beginner okay so there's a marathon one i didn't notice this before but here you have your training And then if you look at these options, like here, for example, week two, Sunday, 40 minutes, set chases to medium or high. So when the zombies or whatever scary feature in your adventure, like in my adventure, it was dinosaurs. In other, um, in other adventures, it might be zombies or it might be a killer, a criminal of some kind. Um, those are chases. They go after you. That's when you speed up in that adventure. And it's actually a very good um, opportunity to get motivated because you're sort of immersing yourself in that story. So you can leave plan here. And I think it says leave plan because at some point I might have clicked on um, the plan, I guess. And that's why it says 5K expert. I'm not sure about that. Um, so you can do interval training i think for this yes you have to join the able runners club home front front these are workouts for when you are in lockdown these are especially designed to my knowledge to stay home that's why it says easy and fun home workouts for those locked down so they're free and unlocked you can just go here and you start your mission and then here's where you guys would go in every adventure to the bottom when it says set duration. That's where you would go and you would do your distance, as duration, or your time. So you, this mission, for example, you can go up to 
two hours and two minutes around it says but you can actually click there and make it shorter depending on your run but it's great that you can do it you can go up to two hours and two minutes so it's actually a long distance run um you can play missions back to back or not and you can play previously owned clips clips that you have uh, listened to before or play next on clips that's depending on how long really you're going to be out there um so there's all these different exercises so see here it says air punches step ups chair dips times two and then the app will tell you what to do as you progress you download this onto your phone once you download it it's yours you keep it with your login so these are the home front front very very useful for people who are in lockdown um this feature i think it's really really neat but i haven't used it obviously because it says join the able runners club so this is a paid feature but this is where i am located and then you can drop items for you to find during your runs so that's really cool um what else can i show you um supplies this is kind of the same kind of idea so you get your supplies your items and then see decoy duty zombies are surrounding able lure them away this is free because i could start it right now and you can have 15 minutes um and this is just a 15 uh, this is 15 minutes in between clips so what happens if you do distance then you have five kilometers between clips so this is for you to collect items that help you build your base now right now i don't have anything on my base um and i really don't know what any of these means i would have to play around with it more i can't give you more information guys remember this review is from the point of view of a new user if you want to see what the perspective of someone who's been using it for a while go check running geek girls video and i will link it be below so you guys can go watch that then codex uh this is artifact supplies new adventures i think for this oh so here give me your tired reach a base population of 100 i think this is colored like that because i am you know like up here that in the that third icon there with the people with the four five people i have a little bit of that pie so i guess that means i achieved that portion and then if you go to more you can actually go you, your zombie links see i'm logged in as i run things uh, this is the membership again this is what you would pay settings this is where you do you enable everything so this is why i had it in kilometers you can do miles as well whatever you would rather do um, you can enable the countdown if you want to i had it on three seconds so this is, means that in between every um clip of the story three seconds before it will tell you three two one and then start playing the story but you can actually have like 23 seconds goes up to a minute so um this is the internal player music volume i always have it in i'm a little deaf you guys so i always have it in the maximum um item pickup speech this is when you pick up items you would like to know that you picked up an item i would like to know so that's a yes for me distance notifications i had it on so i could hear when i reached one kilometer or two kilometers or three kilometers that's up to you as well um these are regarding the um music these notifications ignore empty playlist warnings and then you can include the map when you're sharing your runs i clicked on ask every time because depending on where i am posting this i may or may not want people to know where i am at that point um and then these are the connections i have it just connected to google play games i don't have a google fit or my android wear at all so really this is it then you have your run logs this is because the two on top is because i was playing around with the app the other one into the arctic this is the one that i actually um just did and what else can i tell you about this and then statistics this is my june stats obviously i haven't used it since then one interesting thing is you can't even if you pause it it counts that time so i actually stopped 
to use the bathroom and I, it took me 44 minutes to uh, complete the whole adventure and I only did 5.4 kilometers which is like 3.3, 3.4 miles. So um, that's why my pace is kind of elevated because even though you stop it, it's going to continue clicking the time. So just be mindful of that. And then you can also buy t-shirts if you want to. It takes you to your Lumbies Run website and you can buy that. So yeah, this is the full adventure. If you go here, this is because we just clicked. It says zombies stay inside lockdown workout because we just clicked on that. So that would be my next mission. It just, the system knows that you clicked on that one, that you picked it and then by default it takes you there next time you log in but what i am interested in doing is finishing this dinosaur dash adventure i'm really curious to see how the whole thing plays out and then once i finish this adventure i will do another review so that i can tell you if i enjoyed it or not if it's worth it or not i might purchase the um subscription maybe for one month or two months just to play around with it and see you know the, the real value of it um and then like i mentioned before to this you can attach a um a virtual 5k so for any of these adventures like for these i could buy the dinosaur dash 5k or the 10k and they sent me a booklet with more information and that experience really enriches your adventure because it comes with like an, a little book with more stuff to do um, while you're playing around with, you know, with, with the adventure itself. So it's a lot more immersive when you pay for the virtual race. Um, that's the idea. Again, I haven't done it yet. So I would like to review that in the future. And if you want me to review that, just leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to do so for you guys leave me a comment below let me know if you have tried this app if you enjoyed it if you are thinking about trying it and you know leave me any qu questions below comments i'll try to answer them as best i can and if you like this video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and as always run fearless you guys see you very soon bye bye